Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Kuzi, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. More importantly, welcome back to the weekly challenge series. This week, we have Vulnerable, all right? You're going to be going into this one with no defenses. Be careful out there. What does that mean to me? It means we're probably not going to have any smudge sticks, crucifixes, or sanity pills, because those are your only three defenses in Phasmo. So, we'll see. But, um, yeah, nonetheless, uh, do me a favor before we jump into it. Also, you have to find it. Find the correct ghost type, as usual, three times, but this week it's on 13 Willow Street. So, before we jump into it, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more content like this, give me a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I am recording this live on stream. Love to have you come check me out. The link for that is down in the description. There's a bunch of gamers here that would love to welcome you with open arms, uh, an open hand, or a fist bump, whatever you prefer. But anyways, anywho, not pitter patter, chatter, chatter. Let's get into it. Okay, so we all we have all tier one equipment. Shocking. Okay, we have two candles, but just as I predicted, no crucifixes, no smudge sticks, and no sanity pills. Because, like I said, those are the three things that you can really use to defend yourself, namely smudge sticks and obviously crucifixes. Sanity pills obviously restore your sanity, so the ghost, once you get above the hunting threshold of the ghost, it's not gonna hunt, clearly. Um but uh, the, sa the, the candles help with sanity drain. Not as much as they used to, but those still count as a defense. But I don't know. Anyways, we have to. We have Walter Brooks. We have to find a ghost presence with a motion sensor. Firelight and Paramike are our challenges. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to grab my... Um, I'm going to leave the camera for now. We're not really worried about going for perfect games. And as per usual, the good thing about the weekly challenge is your loadout is provided. And it doesn't matter if you die. You just have to correctly find the ghost type. So that's what we're going to do now. We also have the the Easter event happening. So uh, we've got some extra UV dots and uh, photo cam here. So if you want to know about the weekly challenge, you can uh, or the Easter event, you can do so by checking out my Easter my Easter update guide. I did a guide on that. Do we have cursed possession? So far, no music box or tarot cards. No mirror or Ouija board. Let's see. Which I would assume we don't have cursed possessions because those can kind of be used as a defense against the ghost. Oh, we have voodoo doll. Oh, this is huge. Okay, uh, let's find the breaker first before we get a little crazy. And I think it's in the gr in the basement. Used to LARP a vampire to masquerade. Nice. Oh, I heard something. That means the ghost is down here. It just threw something. Right, like, here, right? Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Are you throwing in here, you stinky? Okay, it's, like, plummeting right now, so... We'll leave that light on. We'll shut this door. All right, so right now, I don't know if Voodoo Doll is like forced all the time, so I'm very curious. But maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get some easy ghosts, because normally, if you've been watching my weekly challenge videos, they've been uh, pretty rough. So, hopefully we get lucky this time. Let's go down here and pray we don't get the heart pin. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Voodoo Doll, there's 10 pins. Nine of which are interaction pins. They cost 5% sanity. And then you have the heart pin, which everything pulls at random. Um, so there's a chance that when you first pick it up, you can still pull the heart pin, which will trigger a curse ton, and it costs 10% sanity. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Okay, we have freezing breath. We have freezing temperatures. Let's assume that we get all three evidences here. So we're going to leave all that in there. I'm going to go grab dots. And let's grab a uh, video cam, maybe check for orbs. I'll grab dots, ghost riding a video cam. We could technically grab the dots right there because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's a good cover, bro. Didn't they just recently put it out? All right. So 
So far, no ghost events. Yep, it's awesome. Sweet. Jack Black is like, he's getting on up in years, isn't he? Hello, ghosty. Okay, the reason why I grab dots and ghost writing is because if you use the voodoo doll, you can trigger dots with the interaction pin. But you don't need to do that because we have ghost writing now. So it's either a revenant shade or Moroi, and I don't know if it's going to be a shade this early on. Let's check for it could potentially be. Can you do dots, friend? She's a rocket scientist? That's wild. Okay, I'm not seeing ghost orbs. This is for sure the ghost room. Let's just check and make sure they're not hiding anywhere. I don't see anything. All right, we're going to rule out ghost orbs. Can't be a, a Gorio, so we don't need to worry about that. Again, I'm assuming we can get all three evidences here. But if we can't, we can just trigger a hunt and try to figure it out that way. Figure out the ghost that way. Um, so let's go grab... So we have ghost riding. We don't need to worry about that. Um, we've already checked for ghost orbs. We've got freezing temperatures already. We need to do motion sensor. We could grab some salt. Let's check for spirit box as well. And then we can grab the UV that's on the front porch. That way we don't have to come all the way back out. All right, we'll check spirit box next. Can't be erased, so we don't need to worry about that. There are freezing temps everywhere. It's snowing outside. Yes. And that's actually a good point brought up by Mr. Ramster. The, uh, if you have freezing temps as your weather, it's actually easier to get freezing temps as evidence. So when you walk in the house, everything's going to be closer to freezing temps regardless. Let's go and put that up. Is the ghost still in here? Uh, temperature's going up. Hello, ghost. Are you still in here, buddy? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Hello? Okay. Well, we'll let that marinate for a minute. Alright, so maybe we... Maybe this will be a fun run where we only... It only costs us, like, three times. Whereas every other weekly challenge video I've done has, has been a very... Very much a shit show, to say the least. All right, we're grabbing our paramite because I think we need that for our challenge. Yep, we do. And then we still need to check for UV as well. Hi, Toasty. How did it go? I wonder if the ghost is still down here. I didn't hear the motion sensor go off. And would this be in the tier one dots? Oh no, the ghost left. All right. Yeah, the ghost moved. I think it moved upstairs, which kind of sucks. What? Downstairs? I'm gonna pull the heart pin, I just know it. Okay, so it's like out here now. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Yeah, see, we have freezing breath out here. You'll be messaging him the proposition. Oh, brother. Okay, we don't need this anymore. We can leave that. We need to check for ghost orbs again since the ghost moved. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Check for ghost orbs. Hallway. This ghost is very inactive now. What? It gave us like two pieces of evidence like mad quick. And now it's genuinely doing nothing. 
I'm thinking it might be a shade. Going off of the evidence we have already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's go to shit in here. Alright, let's turn this off. We don't need it. Save the breaker. Um, it turned off the breaker. I just heard it. You stinky. I don't have a flashlight. There's no good spot to put dots, man. Down here. Can you give me a sign? Where's my spirit box? That's matches. I can't see. Did I move the spirit box outside? Pretty sure I did, like, closer here. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's see. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Damn, bro. Alright, maybe we need to... Check for UV, and there's not really much... Unique, what's up? Say hello to YouTube, I'm recording a video for YouTube. I need UV, but I'm also gonna go grab some more salt. And... We'll grab some more salt. My W key has popped off yet again. The bane of my existence. I'm about to switch one of my keys. You did it? How did it go? All right, let's grab this. Another dots and then another, or er, our UV. Hello, the YouTube. You just sent the message, very nice. Can you give me a sign? I'm out, of, I'm out of candles. Can I, can I place? I'm leaning more towards it being a shade right now because this is doing genuinely nothing. I need to check for spirit box, but if it's it needs to be EMF level five. Hello, ghost. It's still here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Oh, I heard that. Touch the door. Which door? This door? No. Well, maybe it did. Maybe it just doesn't have UV. Can you give me a sign? Hello? I need to go get another... Another thing. Well, it's normal speed. Which rolls out Revenant. Potentially more Roy. Yeah, I refunded. Testy with the air ball. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I felt like being a little crazy. Alright, so this is a cursed hunt right now. Yeah, very proper timing, Toasty. On the air ball. Been a hell of a week. Has it really, Jaeger? I'm sorry, man. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna assume that since it's genuinely not doing anything, that was a cursed hunt, so we can't go off of the sanity, per se. But I'm thinking this is genuinely like a freaking shade, bro. Because a demon would be a little bit more active, I think. And a Moroi... I don't know. That one's a little bit iffy. Let's find out. It was a shade. Welcome back. So genuinely, generally, if you don't have a lot of activity, that's a good, that's a good rule of thumb. Alright, we have to go to Willow Street for the challenge. So first one down. Two to go, baby.
Damn, Jaeger. I'm sorry, bro. I've got nothing else to report, unfortunately. I hope things get better for you, man. Okay. I'm going to move my up arrow key to be my new W key because I don't think you guys can see it. Yeah, you can't because of the lighting. But, and plus I've got, well, yeah, you can't really see it. But you see how that top right corner is missing? That's, I think that might be why it keeps falling off. So we're going to swap it out with this up arrow key, which has all four corners. Because for those of you that don't watch my stream, which you should, um, there has been an uptick in uh, my W key just popping off randomly. So, and it's caused me to die a few times in some of the games that I've been playing. That's the way a week ago this Friday. Damn, dude. I hate that. All right, so last round we had Voodoo Doll. We're still, I heard something upstairs, so that's a plus. It threw something. Please be in the, yes. All right, it's, where's it throwing something? In here? No? I'm not seeing anything move. Maybe it's, no? Is that the- Okay, bro. Read. Alright, uh, no monkey paw. Is it voodoo doll again? I think it's that bathroom right there, by the way. It is voodoo doll. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hello, ghost. Are you in here? I don't think so. I think it's touching things through the wall. We could use the voodoo doll to see... Thanks for the points back. Yep, I'm regretting my decision now. Harpin? Okay, I heard that. Where are you at? Okay, you're right here. Touch the door. Almost EMF5. Are you right here? Or are you in the kitchen? Okay, it's going up. Wait. Alright. So we're going to say that that's the ghost room. Oh, that sucks, Dylan. I'm sorry to hear that. We need to look at our challenges. We have to cleanse the area near the ghost. I can't do that. And witness a ghost event. All right, let's grab. I'll hold off on that. Let's grab our UV spirit box and ghost riding. All right, friend, I have for you this. Can you do me a favor? Could you touch? Oh, I forgot. I was like, what is this? Could you give me a sign? You little weasel. Please don't pull the hot brain. God damn it. Oh my god, it's fast. Uh, Thay? Thay or Revenant? It's gotta be a Thay or a Revenant, dude. Because that bitch was fast as shit. I'm thinking it's probably a rev. Yep. Welcome back. Because it was very fast. <laughs> Dang it, man. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Well, that happens sometimes. See, that's why the, the voodoo doll hates me, because I always pull the heart pin early on. So, that's alright. We load up, we go again. Alright. It's like, windy? Okay, no music box, no tarot cards. Please let the breaker be in here, it is, very nice. There's the bone, 25 extra bucks. 
That wind sound is wild, dude. Check for mirror. Okay, so I think it is just voodoo doll. Hello, ghost. Where are you? Where are you? I found out where real quick. Temperature's going up in here. Watch. Heart pen. I don't hear... Reed, that was perfectly timed, bro. So for those of you watching on YouTube, I have channel point redemptions um, as sound alerts. Some of them. And some of them are air balls, door sounds, and ghost hunting sounds. So... If you... Yeah, if you, if you hear a ghost sound that normally happens in Phasma, I mean, look over here. It's because I'm checking my chat to see if they're trolling me. So if you'd like to po participate in the trolling, you can come, uh, come over. Uh, this light is on. Well, I think we found the ghost room and it's not a mare because mares can't turn the light on. So we'll just let that marinate for a minute and go grab our other stuff. Can you add more spooky sounds? I can. Doesn't work yet. Hey, you can't check the chat. That's meta. Look, that is one of the reasons I have stopped streaming GTRP. All right. I want to actually metagame and interact with my chat, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, excuse me, my brother. You don't have to do that. Oh, I turn off the breaker. You stinky. Okay, well, it turned off the breaker. It's not a gen. And we can confirm that it turned off the breaker and not pop the breaker from turning on too many lights because of uh, that right there. The light switch is on. What was that noise? It was, um, it was a ghost making the <sighs> noise, right? You guys are going crazy, man. And it's just making me go crazy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, spend all your channel points. You'll have to file for bankruptcy soon. Don't make me start ghost gambling. We'll do that after this video, but. All right, let's do spirit box, ghost riding, and UV. You refunded all of our points. I know. I kind of did this to myself, didn't I? But yeah, it was the ghost and then the uh, the EMF re meter. The EMF meter was going on. That's begging us to do it. Okay, fair. Fine, you win. Alright, let's check. And it did a ghost event pretty early. I mean, I'm at like... I don't think... Have I used this? I've used like two pins, right? Okay, it's not freezing yet, even though we have freezing breath. Let's check for spirit box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Do you speak? Alrighty. I got spirit box. Alright, friend. There you go. I'll actually move this a little bit further in. And then we need UV. Can you give me a sign? Can you touch touch a door or something? Wait, I know what I can do. Actually, get ready to clip a chat. Unluckiest Phasma player ever. I fucking told you. It's slow? It's slower? Twins? Hantu? Let's find out. Why are you looking like that? Oh god. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead! Positioning. I'm gonna say twins. Twins or more Roy. Could be more Roy. Because it's none of it's none of these. It's not a Diogen because the Diogen would have sped up whenever he lost line of sight on me. So I'm gonna say twins. Could have been a more Roy. It was a more Roy. The reason why the more Roy I was leaning towards was because when you're at higher sanity, the more Roy is slower, and then the lower the sanity the faster the Moroi is. And we were still pretty high sanity. We, we were at like 60% at least. So, well, we go again. You pull the heart pin because the ghost is trying to give you its heart. No, thank you. Alrighty, we need to cleanse the area. Can't do that. See, it's not even worth... Whenever you don't have all of your equipment, it's not even worth doing the fucking... Optional objectives. Just, just go in. 
Honestly, if you want to speed run this, this is what you do. You go in, you grab the voodoo doll, which seems to be the, the cursed possession of choice here. Um, because it's it's now the fourth attempt at this at this challenge. And uh we have yet to Oh, that's EMF5 already. <laughs> okay. Um you get the you get the voodoo doll, you pull the heart pin, and you try to guess the ghost based on its hunting ability. And then if you can't figure it out, you go back in, you continue to get chain hunted, and you just go from there. But with no sanity pills, it's a little bit rough. What happens if you don't pick up the keys when you walk in with are you talking about this key? So if the ghost touches the car, you won't be able to turn it off. You have to have this key in your pocket to be able to um uh, stop the car from... Turn off the car alarm, pretty much. Because if it touches the car, it makes the car alarm go off. And, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't really want to... Suffer through that. Because it's very loud. Fingies on the car, I wish. Um, could it be in here? I thought I saw good Like, freezing breath. Aha! Alright, buddy. Here you go. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, right on top of me. Okay, it's a wraith. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a wraith. And we can prove that! So the reason why I think it's a wraith is because... The wraith likes to teleport to your location. So a lot of times if you have a contract... And the ghost is immediately at the front door... It's gonna... It's... A, a phantom, a banshee, and a wraith like to teleport to your location more so the wraith than than the banshee or the phantom. Like the wraith is a little bit more aggressive whenever it comes to like following, following people around. So no orbs, but it will give us dots if it is a wraith, for sure. All right, so let's go get a motion sensor. That's why salt is our best friend. Exactly. You can prove it because the wraith will never step in salt. I'm gonna grab one of these and two of these. And then if we have motion sensor, which we don't, of course not. Dude, I could set up two of those and then the other one in the truck and then just be like cracked out on dots, bro. Just do this. Uh, I mean, it hasn't stepped in salt. Just put it everywhere. We'll even put it right here. Hello, ghost! Let's go grab more dots. Just fill the room with dots here. Duh! Did I just see dots? Alright, so how we really confirm it is if we set this up right here. Set this up right here, which we're gonna do this. Let's go grab the other dots. This will be on the exam, YouTube viewer, viewers. Write it down, exactly. There's actually a quiz at the end of this video. So, uh... We got a motion sensor? Okay, so we can go check the dots now, or check the salt. And if there's no salt footprint... It is 100% a wraith. And it's not a mimic. Because... Mimic would've had dots. Or, uh, orbs. Sorry. Would've had ghost dots. God dang it. If I could place this proper. Okay. Well, that's all we need to know. The motion sensor went off. There's no footprint. It is 100% a wraith. All right. We don't need to stick around. Let's get out of here. Slash E clipboard, right? <laughs> all right. That's it, bro. We are, we're skedaddling. Faster than you can say. God of herpacephalades, baby. It's a wraith. I had a hunch as soon as the spirit box was like, right here. I was like, um, okay, buddy, you little stinky. All right, we go again one more time. Just had dinner. I promise not to pass out like I did last week. You passed out? Huh? Toasty, we gotta, we gotta talk, man. You gotta, you gotta start taking care of yourself. We need you around, all right? Not only for your vibes, but who's going to design my merch? <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Oh, God. I did during your stream on Thursday or Friday. Well, in case you haven't realized, I am uh, pretty stupid, so. And I forget things very, very easily. Call me Dory, bro. Um, please, any other cursed possessions? I mean, I love the voodoo doll. Don't get me wrong. But it would be nice to get something else, but we need to turn on the breaker first before we get too gung-ho. By the way, chat, my uh, quote-unquote W key is staying on. You woke up and your phone was dead. I forgot to plug it in under your charger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Breaker's on. Let's just check to make sure... Hello, ghost. Oh, we have the bone. Alrighty, well... <laughs> EMF3. Alright. I'll just let that marinate for you, bud. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a ghost room, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean it could be in the other room. Touching through the wall. Let's go and get some light in here. He agreed, yep. Is this you, my friend? The room with the bone is the ghost room, I would assume. Posting the screenshot in Discord? Okay. I didn't mean to throw that. Sorry. Let's check for orbs as well. Yeah, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to join one of the coolest communities on uh, Discord, you can uh, look in the link in the bio. There's a link to the Discord there as well. Again, we would love to have you come check us out live as well. Plenty of cool gamers here in chat right now. Hey, buddy, are you still in here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Do you speak on the spirit box? Do you talk? Are you mad? Are you angry? What do you want? How old are you? Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, uh, we got Orbeez. Senor Orbington. Alright. Do I know how to make an egg roll? Yeah, you just push it down some stairs. Right? Is that how you make an egg roll? I mean, it'll probably break, right? You know what? Like cows wear bells. No. That I don't. Couldn't tell you. Alright, we have salt. Uh, let's get... Okay. Well, I don't have room. Okay, watching on computer is amazing, isn't it though, Dylan? Because they're... Because their horns don't work. Nice, man. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty, pal, yep. Straight to jail with that one. Oh my god, it's still shining through. Make it make sense. Are you still in here, you stinky? Oh. It is not. It is! Okay, well, it's not freezing temperatures. It's not doing ghost riding. Let's check for spirit box again. We have orbs. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? You just stepped in salt. Please talk to me. Hello? Maybe it's a Gorio? We can check for Goryeo dots by standing outside of the ghost room. Let's go find- let's go grab another... Uh, it's not a wraith, can't be a wraith anyways. Um... We've got ghost orbs. It's not really giving us spirit box, which is fine. We could use the voodoo doll. What did the pink panther say when he stepped on an ant? I don't know. Um... I think what we're going to do is we're going to go crazy with the dots this round. Because we've got all the evidence items. Uh, I don't really need salt anymore. Let's grab a paramike. And then do we need anything? Incense, repel the ghost, can't do that. Paranormal sound. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> That's good. That one's good. Alright. 
We're gonna go crazy with the dots because especially if this is a wait, it can't be a Gorio. Never mind. Well, it's not really giving us freezing temperatures. It's not really doing spirit box. But I don't know if we get all three evidences. We haven't seen all three evidences yet. It touched this door. Check for fingerprints. Okay, it's not fingerprints. Is it go still in here? Yep. Is that EMF five? Did I just see dots? Can't see your yoke, I ride you. Go a little crazy with the dots here. And put another one here. That one on, that one's on now. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Please. Did you write in the journal? No, you didn't. Is it freezing? No, it's not freezing. Check for spirit box again. Hello, ghost. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Where are you? That's my breath, chat. Don't freak out. That's not- that's not dots. Where are you? Where are you? Well, it's a URA. Okay. <laughs> Just did the fucking Yurei ability. And it's dots, bro. It's a freaking Yurei. Alrighty. Well, that's that's how that goes. The Yurei likes doors, chat. And sometimes you will hear like this double door touch, or it will do what it just did, where it just sh like closes the front door or closes the door all the way. The Yurei is also the only other ghost that can close the front door without doing a ghost event. So there you go. Crow did you know that before crowbars were invented, crows mostly drank alone? How sad. Isn't a flock of crows like a called a murder? Why is it called a murder of crows? Unless it's mimic. Okay, it's a Yurei. Alrighty, well, there you go, folks. So, a recurring theme that I've seen with this weekly challenge series that we're doing here is. A lot of it's RNG, about 50% of it is RNG, and then the other, like, 50% is your knowledge of the ghosts in the game, right? I could have stuck around and waited for the last piece of evidence, which even then, throughout these contracts, I still don't know if you get all three evidences. I would assume, just because they kind of fucked with you so that you don't get to use smudge sticks, sanity pills, or crucifixes, but, yeah, I don't know. But, so, half of it's RNG, but the other half is your knowledge of the ghosts in the game. I would have, I would have been sitting there, because a Yuri is like the Gorio in the Shade, where they're very boring, and they don't really have much going for them. And so a lot of times when you're waiting for evidence, it's very, very annoying. Because they, they take forever to give you the evidence. So like, for instance, if it was a Gorio right there, and we were waiting for Gorio dots, we would have been waiting for like 15 minutes. It would have been so bad. So, fortunately, the Yuri did its ability, which comes from knowledge of the game. And if you want to know about the ghosts in the game, I have a ghost guide that I'll link uh, at the end of this video, okay? But uh, nonetheless, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, in that ghost guide, I cover all 24 ghosts, uh, their evidences, their abilities, uh, and how to rule them out or figure them out very easily, okay? But anyways, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this guide helped you. Um, and uh, do me a favor, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more content like this and other spooky stuff, give me a subscribe with notifications on. I am recording this live on my stream right now, so if you want to come check me out live, I'd love to have you. The link for that is down in the description below. But anywho, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other, be proud of yourself, and most importantly, don't stop being who you are. You're valued, you're loved, you belong in this community. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye.